Hello people, this is Mike Jr. the second and welcome back to Kirby's Dreamland number dose. So uh, I just have a quick thing to explain. Uh, so because I was actually going to start another recording video, but apparently someone decided to blast music. So I had to scrap it. However, um, I, I got really mad and I just kind of unplugged a lot of my stuff and I didn't realize Fraps was still running. So Fraps crashed, which crashed the Visual Boy Advance and made made it so that I had to redo all of the Kirby stuff up to this point, which is why my lives are at 13 instead of, I believe, my last one was like 10 or 11. So, yeah. Anyway, I am doing safe states here because it'll be a pain in the ass to keep getting Kane and coming back. Fuck that shit. So, let's just point out that this is the... I also got it wrong in terms of the wiki I was reading to tell me to... Oh, there we go. The wiki I was reading, which was telling me how to get a better grasp at, um doing this part was like, oh, don't worry about anything, just, uh, you know, wait to get Kane inside of that box down there if you don't get him, big deal. And it, but the issue with that is that Kane um, didn't show up, and I was like, okay, I'll just exit the level. Well, you can't exit a level until you finish it. Fuck me. So, I was gonna wait to get the fire ability off that fucker, but I decided to kill him, so I will be right back with a uh, re-fucking-starting. So, uh, when I get the fire ability from him, then I will continue on the level, so I'll be right back. Alright, got the damn thing. So then, uh, ignore Rick, do not get Rick, and I am going to be doing a save state here. Just because, uh, this part is very much a pain in the ass. This is why Kirby's Dream Land 2, this and, like, probably two, three other moments, are why Kirby's Dream Land 2 is considered to be probably one of, maybe, the more difficult games in the Kirby series. And it is for stupid reasons. Because now we got an auto-scrolling section, with Kane. Who is very slow on land, and this is ice physics as well. So turning around is hard, especially for those fuckers right there. So it took me a while to get this far. So once I get to the next point, I will be doing a save state. I usually don't like doing save states like this. Oh, fuck. I don't like doing save states like that, but the fact is I have to. There is no other way to do this. Okay. Come on, nope, destroy the damn thing. Destroy the damn thing, Kane. And keep in mind, I died right there, so what happens? I start the level without Kane now, and without the fire ability. Pretty fucking bullshit, so... Yep, I don't care what anybody says, I have to do my save states. Oh god, where did I do the race save state? Oh, whatever, I did my most recent one. <laughs> anyway, I do apologize for this. I'm usually not fond of save states like this, but the fact is, if I have to do this legitimately, I'm gonna have to go back and do it constantly. Keep in mind, you know, you have to do all these over again, and at one point, when you get to a further point, there's another fuck you moment. Which is like, oh, what's that? You messed up? Well, big deal. You know, you have to start all over again because we tricked you. And it's like, no, that's bullshit. You don't do that. Come on. Destroy the damn thing! Do you, do you see how bullshit this is? So, I'm just gonna skip to a point where I get past that, so I'll be right back. Okay, finally got past the fucking part. I believe from here on you're you're pretty good. Keep in mind though, Kirby's uh, scrolling levels will keep going even when you get to the exit. They don't stop at a certain point. And there's another fuck you moment. So, yep. Yeah, this game's fucking filled with them. Okay, we're getting to another fuck you moment up here, so I'm gonna do another save state. I know these kind of save states are very annoying and I do apologize for them, but there's nothing I can honestly do about it. Because if I don't do it like this, then that means I'm going to have to spend 20 fucking, you know, not even 20 minutes, maybe even 40 minutes getting past some of these parts. Do not fall for those moments. You cannot get those. Do not try getting those. Fucking ice physics. Oop. Killed him. That's good. I, do I go down here? Uh, I'm pulling out the phone with the game facts on it. I'm not sure, so I'm just going to save state. Okay, yes, this is the part. Okay. So, this part can be very tricky. So, if you go down this part... Oh, wait, no, we gotta destroy the thing around here, blah, blah, blah. And you think, oh, hey, I'm gonna destroy this and get that maximum tomato. I lost a life there. Then you can't get up here with Kane, which you need for the future level. Part of the level. So, yep. Game does another fuck you moment. Fuck you, game. Fuck you hard. I mean, seriously, I don't get how you can do that. That is just so fucked up. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. I need you. Okay. So, again, another fuck you moment is we can't destroy this thing with fire ability. So what do we have to do? We actually have to drop our fire ability real fast and suck it back in. 
hate that. So uh, I did a safe setup there. I'm not gonna worry about it. And I didn't get, I didn't do it enough in time. So now I gotta restart the level all over again. See, you can't get through here. Because I need the fire, I'm gonna need the fire ability for a future part to get the rainbow drop. So I'm gonna have to restart again. I love fucking video games. Get the mouse out of the way. It just, who does that? This is why I can, under, and this, I can see why this is considered the hardest level in terms of, because you have to keep everything. Because I did this, once I got to this far and I understood it all, I did it on my first go, but that takes time and skill. So I'm doing a safe state here, because fuck doing this whole level, doing that next part all over again. Now maybe I can squeeze through there and do a fire. Nope. Game thought about that. Thank God, okay, so. And then, now that we got past here, we're basically good at this point. But we do need the fire ability, so if you drop the fire ability, you, you fucked up. So now you gotta do that whole part all over again. But we got it, so, nothing wrong there. Alrighty then, so now that we're back up here, I'm gonna ditch Kane actually. So first, I wonder should I get my hands on get my hands on this? Okay, it's nice having mobility. Very sweet, very sweet indeed. One up. Okay, I need that one up after all that bullshit. Okay. Oh, there's some down here. Whee. And luckily, even if we die, we get to keep our rainbow drop. God, imagine how much that would fucking suck if we saw to complete the level and then you died. Luckily, the game's at least that fucking merciful, but doesn't change the fact how fucking bullshit it is. Okay, we're at the end of the level. We are good. We can continue on with the game until we get to 5-2, I think? No, 5-5. Five, five. Alrighty. Oh, I know, we need the boss. Duh. Uh, yeah, so, boss here is this this little guy, which I think I've... I'm trying to remember where I've seen him before. Is he in a Paper Mario game? He looks familiar. Uh, that's all I'm, he's, he's either in a Kirby game, which they don't really kind of... I don't know, he just reminds me of something that had a 2D flip. Like, he kind of flipped in 2D. Actually, thinking about it, I think this is one of the few games that didn't reuse a lot of bosses. Like, even even um, Wispy Woods was a little different. Come on, do a pound stomp. Oh, ouchie. Nope. Not dealing with you. Come on. Give me a real challenge. Boom. One more hit. One more hit. Come on. Oh, yeah, Kirby doesn't have to slide in this game. That surprises me, actually. Come on, you motherfucker. Yeah, there we go. There we go. What do you mean that didn't do anything? Oh, here we go. Ha ha. Kirby a wins. <laughs> he did a little fish thing. That's cute. Gotta love that. Blast off Kirby as we go to level 5, a mountain world. But then. Ah, I gotta love this music. Alrighty then, so as you can see, the levels are getting bigger and bigger. And again, in this world, it's 5 5 where you have to worry about it. And in 5 5, you need. Oh, this is another tough one hamster and spark. So, a uh, Rick, the hamster, basically. I know I don't call them by their names. It's because I really didn't have. I don't. I don't care about the names, honestly. Come on, motherfucker! I don't know. I wonder how much damage you do when you hit them like this. Eh, a little bit. Ah, damn it! Ouch! Why did I do that? Come on, one more hit. You know, you'll want a motherfucker. Gotcha. Now we get the spark ability. 
And we get Rick here, damn. Okay, so World 1 1's a good way to get Rick before I do my save state. So anyway, we actually haven't shown this one yet. Uh, Rick and the Spark ability actually does the Beam ability. Funny enough. And I believe, besides Kirby, he has no weak spots. So, pretty awesome. And you can get that maximum tomato, unlike you would have to do with Rick. Or they would just fuck you over, because it's funny that way. Well, fuck that then. <laughs> now, if I'm, I can't remember correctly. Oh no, you do need the spark ability, okay. I'm trying to remember whether or not you actually need need it, or it's just helpful for a part. You know what I mean? Like, in a certain part of the level, you... I hate those monsters, they do that fucking explosion. But, you know, like, if you need it in terms of, like, the special blocks in the game which can only be destroyed by a certain thing, which is what you need the spark ability for. The issue is, is that Rick has to come and play for another auto-scrolling level. Actually, did we see... I don't think we have... the... Boomerang ability yet, or whatever you call this. Oh yes, he throws Kirby... You know, like in Kirby uh, 64, when you lose Kirby for a bit? That's why. Do I have to go up there? Or do I have to go down here? I have to go down here. Damn it. Oh, spikes, spikes, no spikes, no spikes. Come on, get out. There you thank you, Rick. Alright, go. That could have been bad. I might actually ditch Rick here. Another one up, we're at 16, that's pretty awesome. How that is not hurting us, I do not know. Keep going, keep going, stop. That's good to know. Fuck you. Fuck you too. Got the spark ability back, that's not bad. Oop, there we go. Okay. Nope, didn't get that one. Yeah, at least I got two. Two health, that's not bad. Alrighty then, we're part done with that part of the mountain world. Oh wow. I do love how he does a little butt dance when going inside of the damn things. Because <laughs> he's fat, so he can't fit through it as easily. Give me my spark back. I do love the beam ability. It's actually very long in this game, as you can see. Usually it's a little bit wimpier, but in this game, uh, they do a pretty good job at making it big. Which I don't think it ever gets this big ever again, so consider this the longest. Uh, oh, we got a ninja here. The ninja has the cutter ability. Because of those things. Kind of a pain in the butt, actually. You have to defeat one later as part of the uh, game. There we go. Basically, the way you have to suck those things in is you have to suck. God damn it, Kirby. Ouchie. Stop it. Ugh. I hate the ninja. He's probably my least favorite mini boss just because he moves too fast. And the way his. The way you have to kill him is you have to let the cutter things actually run into the wall, then suck him in, which I don't like. I think an ability like that should constantly be. Come on. Got you. Okay, two more hits and we should be good. Come on, fire a damn thing at me. Thank you. Gotcha. Oh, nope, one more hit. Fine with me. And I think we get coup from this. Coup, yes. So, Cutter and Koo, basically, we are flying Incarnation of Death, and fuck the police. Just because. You can go for that if you feel risque. Or risking it. No, we have to go up here. God damn it. I'm thinking, oh, I'll push it, I'll go a different direction. No. Basically, oh, I see. The game lets you go up, up, uh, vertical, however you please, but you have to, uh, go this specific way. But wherever you go, you have to keep going right no matter what. Oop. 
What? Mm, fuck you, game. I hate that. That's so fucking annoying. Uh, I don't think Curly Dreamland 2 does vertical. Or does auto scrolling levels well at all. Just because they don't work in. You really have to be quick on your feet when you think about a lot of the shit. And I don't like that. I, I think if you're going to be doing a vertical scrolling level, you should make it at least somewhat, um... You know, you gotta be able to think. You know, maybe when it comes to the very later levels, but here, it's like, oh, well, you gotta go left. There's no way to go right. It's like, wait, what? See, even when I did it on time, that still had some practice with it. And those are there to help out if you have animal friends. Come on, go on the level, go on the level, there you go. And yes, it keeps going, which pisses me the fuck off every goddamn time. And it will continue to piss me the fuck off. Because I think when you get to the exit, you should stop. Not go, okay, we're just going to keep going. Because I think that's bullshit, honestly. That's pushing it. A lot. Ah, uh, yes, this one is actually kind of a way you can pick your uh, animal friends. So right there is going to be Kane. This one, I believe, is Rick. Oh, I hate this guy. I forgot. Oh, uh, the only way we can really defeat him is by running into him. So, yeah. If you don't have an ability. Because you do the sword ability actually isn't in this game at all. Not a single sword ability in this game. Oh, yeah, these guys you can't defeat. Keep going. Damn it, why'd I do that? Ah, <sighs> boop. Hey, you can suck these guys in with Kirby. You can't suck them in with any other character, or you can't, um... Oh. Thank you. But anyway, yeah, there's no sort of villain in this game. I basically, I basically the closest thing you can get to the sort of villain in this game is probably the umbrella. Funny enough, which in that sense, every game has a sword ability because Kirby did have the fire sword in 64. Even if it wasn't a regular ability, it was a fused ability. Which is probably why I really do miss that no one's going back to... I really do miss that nobody wants to go back to, um... Nobody wants to go back to Kirby 64 fusion abilities. Like, I remember my friend was all like, oh, you know, get Squeak Squad. Squeak Squad has fusion abilities. You can fuse, like, three, four abilities in the game. Ooh, big deal. You know, I mean, fuse any combination of abilities. Like, I, I like I was really looking forward to that part of Squeak Squad when I was told about it. I'm like, oh, wait, you can fuse abilities? That's awesome, you know? And then I was kind of really looking forward to it, and it turns out, oh, no. It's not what I thought it was. It was just, oh, hey, you can kind of fuse abilities. Well, fuck that, then. I mean, it, it even wasn't that big, you know? it was. I think it was all just swords abilities plus element. That was it. I think there was one more. I can't remember what it was, but it's just like, ugh. That bothers me. Oh, no, the only other good thing you can do is I think you could fuse food together to make more better food. So, basically, if you kept fusing, like, uh, some pudding and an apple, you would get a maximum tomato. I don't know, I don't like that. I think if you're going to do the fusion ability, go all out like they did in 64. You know, 64 set a bar. If you're not going to try going past that, if you're not going to do the same thing as the bar, I'll go past that bar. Don't try doing it ever again. That, that's how I look at it. Kind of a dick way to look at it, but just how I look at it. <laughs> 